Hey dudes, welcome back to Good Enough Garage. It's been a while. We're here after phase two of the upgrade to the, to the truck. And today we're gonna try to weigh the truck to see what it weighs with two battery packs in it now. So this truck has two BMW 530E 12 kilowatt hour battery packs joined together to make one 24 kilowatt hour. And I'm curious to see what it weighs. I'm hoping that this truck will weigh about the same as it did in its um, OEM ICE um, configuration with the internal combustion engine. I did weigh every single internal combustion engine component that I removed off of this truck, but like a pinhead, I never originally weighed it when it was just driving as a regular gasoline powered truck. So let's think inside the box. Needless to say, I've never done this before. So bear with me as I try to figure figure this out together and special thanks to my friend your friend WRX Brent who loaned me his uh, scale kit here it's actually pretty nice and we're gonna try to figure it out so thanks a lot Brent instructions and in here we have Four of these scales, one, each one goes under a different wheel, as you can imagine. They are nicely labeled, so I'm happy with that. This is not a how-to video. I'm just going to quickly weigh the truck, so do not fret. So this is front left. It's going to go here, front right. These are color-coded. And then rear left and rear right. So I'm just kind of taking them out of the box willy-nilly because we have to connect them. This kit is not wireless, it's still wired. And after we have them all wired up, then we'll slide them closer to the wheels, lift the truck up, set it on the scales, and we should be good to go. Okay, so at least let's get this divided into front and rear. Yep, yep, perfect. Okay. And here we go. So this front left is red. So we're going to that in there green is front right this is key that's what I'm looking at it just goes on a certain way and let's do the rear ones Okay, so rear right is white. I'm just talking to myself here. Click, and rear left is blue. Okay. Then we slide those in there. Boom. there okay I'm gonna lift the truck up and slide the scales under it so here we go having looked at the instructions I believe we are instructed to turn on this little brain here Okay, the brain module is on, it's all on zeros. Let's 
And front end going down. All right, here we go. Let's lift up the rear and slide the rear scales underneath the wheels. And rear end going down. All right, guys, I'm going to bring you in here, and together we'll take a look at these numbers. Okay, as you guys can see for yourself, we have 1,059 pounds on the front left. 1,029 pounds front right, then the rear, 638 on the left, and then 666 pounds on the rear right. So what does that mean? I don't know. All I was looking for really is that this truck weighs just under 3,400 pounds, which I'm really happy with. I think each pack is about 180 pounds. If you add all the brackets cables to it we can call it 200 so if i was to add a third pack to give me a 100 mile range i'm looking at 3600 pounds and that's well within the specs of this truck uh, go ahead and comment on the weight distribution here i know the truck is front heavy but my batteries sit where the engine would be and the lexus transmission is where the turbo 350 GM transmission would be. So I don't know what else I could do different. Looking at the left and right, I've heard somewhere that you want the left side to be a bit lighter than the right, especially on the left-hand drive vehicles, because when I get my lard butt in there, that adds another, you know, just shy of 200 pounds, let's say. So you want maybe the left side to be lighter. But what are we going to be doing with this truck? Going to Costco to get a pizza? Going to get ice cream? We're not really going to be racing this thing. This is not a performance vehicle by any means. So, but you know, there we have it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helps somebody out.